Hey guys, what's happening? Sean here. Just thought I'd make an updated installation video just because I've seen a lot of people talking about the old ones being a little bit outdated. Um, so I'm going to give you a bit of a quick rundown. So you're going to come here to projectsls.com slash install. And basically, I'm going to do a Steam install for this version of the game. I've already got Steam open. Um, all you got to do is basically click this link or even just type run and then that in. And you're going to get this little window. Click open link. I'm going to install it under my F drive. Typically it goes under your C drive. In either case, you're just going to have to find the directory to actually install the launcher later on. So I'm just going to let this install and I'm going to be back with you in a moment. So for the next part of the video, I wanted to talk about the launcher itself. This is where you actually get all the updated content from Project Celeste from because the old game obviously just has all the old game files. So you can just go here and it will take you to the 2.2.1.0 version of the launcher. So this is the only stable version of version 2 at the moment. And all you got to do is click on this part. You don't need to get the source codes. Just click on this and it will open up the installer. But personally, I prefer version 3. So if you can go here to github.com slash project Celeste slash Celeste underscore launcher slash releases, It'll take you through to here, and this is where you got all the copies of Martin Mines um, working version 3 beta launches, as well as Rydag's latest release of version 2. Um, so you want to refer to this. If you ever find that your old launcher is out of date and you can't seem to find an updated link, so just go to here. And what I'm going to do is just download this. So it's the same deal. Get the zip. Don't worry about getting the source code. And yeah, just download that. So guys, will be back with part three very shortly. All right, so now onto part three. My game's finished downloading and installing on Steam. I've got my Celeste launcher here that's uh, finished as well. I'm actually just going to extract it here because I always like to have a copy of stuff just in case. And what you want to do is just select all of this and copy it across. Basically, the default program location will be right here. There'll be an Age of Empires Online folder um, just under local disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps common. Um, but because mine's actually on my F drive, it's instead under whatever I want to call my Steam library, which is Steam library, CMAPS, Common Age Vampires Online. So what we want to do is just paste this in here, and um, that's basically how you install the launcher to begin with. And then what you want to do is actually fire this up and log in for the first time. I'll just set those up to go ahead. And now the first time you're going to want to play, it's actually going to prompt you to do what's called a game scan, which we're about to see. So this is actually how the devs patch the game. Um, you won't always need to update your launcher in order to get this done. But every now and then, you may need to update your launcher just to make sure that the game scan runs correctly um, or to fix any X Live issues. Um, so what you can do is just, yeah, run your game scan. Just leave this as to where it's picked up the game as. It's obviously seen that it's in my F drive. It otherwise should say C drive, if that's where you've put it. But just make sure it goes all the way to Age of Empires Online. And you want to hit scan. And then just wait till this is done. And then you'll be able to play from there. Now, guys, there is a troubleshooting and additional setup guide for people that are having issues. Um, regardless of what windows they are on. These ones are really good for yeah any Windows 7 through to 10 if you are having issues with the game, the launcher, or installation. These ones are basically just for 8 and 10. Um, but yeah, refer to that before you go panicking, uninstalling the game, or running into the uh, help section of the Discord. Although, if you've tried all these solutions, that's probably your next port of call. Thanks, guys.